A little while ago, I recorded a Michaels haul video that I never ended up posting because I didn't like it. <laughs> it was just kind of boring, I'm not gonna lie. I, I like watched a pack and I was like, this is not good, so I just didn't. But I do kind of want to talk about some of the stuff that I got. And also, I have another video that's already recorded that mentions the fact that I spent $100 at Michaels, but there's, there's no video. For the $100 Michael gift card <laughs> and I kind of want to post that video so I guess I could just post it and then leave that up in the air I'm I mean my, my videos are already full of continuity er errors it's fine <laughs> but yeah anyway I spent a hundred dollars at Michael's using a gift card that I got last year sometime because I am bad at things <laughs> I didn't know what to spend it on for the longest time, but eventually I ended up deciding on watercolors because I've had this little guy. This is the Winsor Newton Cotman 12 pan set, and I've had this for a couple of years now. I've made a little bit of progress. I can't open it. There we go. <laughs> it doesn't look like I've used it a whole lot. I mean, you can kind of see that the mixing wells are a bit of a mess, but I think this one's got the biggest dent in it. I don't know if it shows up too well on camera. But I have used this quite frequently. The only thing is, I noticed that there were some colors that I didn't like as much as other colors, or colors that I kind of wished were different. And and there were colors that I kind of just wished I had. Uh, namely, purple. I ended up using purple a lot. I like painting flowers, so I guess that kind of makes sense. But I was enjoying this. I just I just wanted a, a, a different variety of colors. We'll get to the fact that I, I ended up putting some of the colors that I wasn't hugely fond of into the new palette anyway, but that's neither here nor there. Anyway, I wanted to make my own palette. And I got this empty palette. It was a 14 pan palette that I think I got off of Amazon. And I figured 14 open stock Cotman colors would probably get me pretty close to $100 because they're like $5 to $6 a piece. And I figured that'd be a good use of the $100 gift card. And then I went to Michael's and I found this, which this had a cover. I don't know what happened to it. This is a set of 20 Cotman watercolor tubes. They are only five milliliters, which the open stock are eight milliliters, but I figured this gives me like a really nice variety of colors to play with, some interesting ones that I don't know if I would have purchased otherwise. And it, it does have a couple of the colors that I was looking for in the purples, and uh, unfortunately it doesn't have my most used color, which is sap green, but it has office green light, which I figured would be fun to play with and when I run out of the sap green in this one maybe I can go just replace it with a tube but otherwise I figured this was a nice range of colors and it was only $35 so I bought it and of course I had more gift card money left over I ended up buying a few other things but that's not like it's not really that important so we're just gonna skip that I just want to talk about these because you see this is more than 14 colors especially when you consider the fact that I ended up buying a tube of Payne's Gray because I wanted Payne's Gray so I ended up with 21 colors <laughs> and a 14 pan palette and then I went to Blick and got some empty half pans and made my 14 pan palette into a 20 pan palette <laughs> which is a little overwhelming I'll admit this is probably too many colors but it's fine it's fine everything's fine I ended up being able to fit every color in this palette except for the Chinese white, which I figured I was going to play with lamp black for a little while, and then if I decided that I'd prefer the Chinese white, I can just switch it out if I want to. But I thought, having fit all these colors in here, I thought I did pretty good. <laughs> so I do have like a couple of colors that I wasn't super fond of in this set. They're still present in this set, like I still have... Um, Viridian, mostly just because I found that these are actually really good mixing colors and I have the room for them so I might as well. Viridian is, uh, it makes some really interesting colors and because this set ended up being so large I ended up making 
color chart and there are definitely some mixes in here that I actually really love. Some of them are from like Viridian. I'm particularly fond. I think these are some really pretty like moody kind of blues that I just wasn't expecting. Um, they actually come from the purples so that's kind of cool. And then there's of course some of like the neutral colors that I ended up getting. I understand that like if you mix colors on the opposite ends of the spectrum or not opposite ends of the spectrum, on the opposite like ends of the color wheel. So like yellow with purple or orange with blue, you'll end up neutralizing them so you'll get like a neutral color but it still kind of surprised me <laughs> that it worked out so well. There's some pretty interesting ones. There's also this like, I don't know what happened here because this is the emerald with the permanent rose and it's like this really interesting like violety gray. I love it. I don't know. I think it's kind of neat. But yeah. I thought this was a lot of fun. I actually really enjoyed making this mostly because just seeing the colors like fill in was quite fun and quite like intriguing because I was not um, picturing some of these colors which you know that makes sense. I don't I don't picture things quite well <laughs> so I had to like do them and with 21 color or not 21 20 colors I figured this would be helpful. But now I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna paint just something. I don't know what yet but I'm gonna paint something and we're gonna play with these colors. Yeah I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm also really intrigued by the black. I'm getting distracted. I'm sorry. I, I really like the, 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 the colors that I got with this black and with the Payne's Gray. I think that the Payne's Gray mixed with especially like the blues. Super cool because like that's really dark. I'm like that's really that's really neat. And then I mean even with the purples you get some moody colors. So maybe someday it'd be fun to like play with the, the Payne's Gray mixtures and try to make like a a painting with some of them. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's paint. finish the sketch. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use my kneaded eraser to lighten it a little bit and then I'm going to ink it in and then we will paint. So let's get into that. So I think I'm finished with the lines. I kind of messed up a couple of times. Um, I'm like shaky today and I don't really know why, but this wasn't supposed to connect and I didn't really think about it until I did it and I can't really fix it. So it is what it is. And I kind of messed up with the swirl. Um, I kind of actually like some of this, like where the uh, lines are kind of doubled up. So I might go back and like put that in some more places to make it look more intentional. But I think it's okay, and I, I kind of like it. And I mean, I already traced it. It's a very loose trace, so if I want to, I can go back and redo it at some point. Probably not today because I am shaking, so I don't think I'm gonna get any better lines. But if I ever want to redo it, I have it on this piece of paper, so. Otherwise, I'm quite happy with it. I know that neither, neither of them have pupils. I'm 
thinking I'm just gonna leave it like that because personally I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that detailed <laughs> with how shaky I am today um, and also I kind of prefer it to be honest I think it's kind of fun um, so anyway I'm gonna do uh, some more lines to make this look a little bit more intentional and then I'm gonna let it dry for a little while and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna paint it and we're gonna see how it goes um hopefully the painting process will be a little bit less uh, painful for me because uh, it'll be looser I think I'm not gonna do anything too like sophisticated I guess I don't know <laughs> I'm thinking just like flat colors I haven't quite chosen where I'm gonna go with it but we shall see and like I said I have the tracing if I ever feel like redoing it at some point but let's let's uh fix some of these lines So that was a mess, <laughs> but oh boy, isn't everything, uh, especially my desk apparently. I don't know, I like flipped it over and now there's just a bunch of stuff on this page, so. I was messing around with a bunch of different stuff, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised my desk really needs to get cleaned. But that's neither here nor there. This was a mess, but it was such a fun mess. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with this. I actually really love the fact that I drew a human and it doesn't look like absolute garbage. <laughs> Not great at humans. Still learning. I think she's a little stiff, but you know, I'm working on it. I think she's cute though. I I think would change a couple of things though. One, there's like no cohesion. I really was struggling with color choice and I don't know if it was because there's just too many colors in this palette or if and more than likely it's because I've never really done anything with this much going on usually it's one or two subjects well usually one subject just multiple times like flowers for instance <laughs> I've never done something with two different characters and I think they could be a little bit more like cohesive in terms of color scheme I don't know if maybe I could change his shell or her skirt or something to make it all tie in together but you know that was a fun learning process I will say that I don't like the color of the mushroom I just I'm not I'm not feeling it to be perfectly honest but I think it's easy enough to ignore and kind of should be ignored because like obviously the focal point should be like these two but yeah I would definitely change the 
the color of the, the mushroom. I don't really know how though because I, 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 I like the idea of maybe warm tone and then cool tone but I'm thinking maybe if I reversed it if I did cool tones and then like a warm tone for the mushroom or maybe if I did just everything a little warm toned and then I could put a cool tone back here that might work because then I could do I could do a red mushroom which I think would be cute and do like the yellow skirt and change the shell to be yellow and then have like a blue background and then you'd have the cohesion between these two a little bit of a different color for here and then the yellow would work too with her hair I think the green kind of works because they're both a little green maybe if he were greener or if this leaf were closer matched to that that would also help but yeah, you know, stuff to think about. I'm not going to bother coloring this one in just yet because I, I really don't know what I want to do with it if I were to color it in. But it's, you know, maybe if I decide on a color scheme, I might try coloring this in. Otherwise, this has been a lot of fun. I really do love this palette. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to work with. And I love this color sheet. I thought that this was going to be so annoying to make, and it kind of was, but it's so handy. Because, <laughs> like, I just, when I was make, making this, I had this propped up, and I was just kind of, like, picking colors from it <laughs> that I thought might work. And, I mean, obviously, it doesn't really, but that's on me, not the color chart. The color chart's very handy. Anyway, this is, I don't know, it's not my first foray into watercolor, but I'm still definitely learning. It's not, not a medium I'm super super familiar with but definitely one I'm, I'm gonna keep trying to use and getting better at anyway yeah that's it that's all I really have to say about it I, I'm kind of finished with her and I think it's cute oh uh the lines I kind of didn't want to mention I actually think that the lines despite them being a little messy kind of work I mean the entire thing's a mess so kind of it kind of jives <laughs> I actually, I really like, especially like, I don't know, there's just some parts where you can kind of see where they like separate and stuff. It looks sketchy and I kind of, I'm kind of here for it. So I like it. I might, I might actually redo it. I think the only thing is I might do a thicker nib because I think this was the 005, which is probably too thin. And I just found, <laughs> I was looking for this one. I couldn't find it. And I just found it like a second ago. So, you know. That's my luck. I think next time I might try using this one. This is just the zero one, so it's not a whole lot bigger, but a little bit. So, I don't know. We will think about it. And by we, I mean me. I will think about it <laughs> and see what happens. Otherwise, that's that. That's all I really wanted to do with this video. I really wanted to just show off my colors, <laughs> my, my watercolors. I had a lot of fun making the palette and filling it in, and, and I'm looking forward to playing with it. Uh, hopefully it'll make some more appearances. We shall see. Anyway, I'm done for now. I'll stop talking. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked, like. If you want, if you would like to, subscribe. I don't know. I'm not in charge of you. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Bye.